Hello everybody, it's Adam Westish again, and um, I wanted to make a video called Why I Said That Christianity Is Fundamentally an Evil Religion, and um, I'm sure some of my Christian friends are wondering why I'd post something like that on Facebook. So um, let me read to you my post and then my own reply to my own post, because that's just the weird way I do things. And then um, I'll explain myself a little bit further. Okay, I wrote, Christianity is a fundamentally evil controlling belief system that causes great death and suffering in the world. And then to clarify that, which I did a terrible job. Oh, sorry, the microphone's a little high. Okay, it encourages people to ignore the needs of others and demonize yet others yet feel godly because they follow a book of a book of myths designed to control Jews into being good slaves about 2,000 years ago, which has been modified to be yet more controlling and disruptive of the real spiritual process ever since. There's some good stuff in there and a lot of propaganda. Okay. Well, okay. At home and by myself, I usually still um, practice Nietzsche and Buddhism. I've been learning a lot about a lot of other faiths, the Christian faiths, the Abrahamic religions, I'm not really all that familiar with, not even Christianity really very much. I was raised around some of the Bible and stuff like that, but I never really believed in it because it seemed like a bunch of very, very fabulous, you know, fairy tales you know, um, <clears throat> interspersed with moral lessons and then some things that just didn't seem to make any sense at all. And since I've learned more about what is probably, in my opinion, is the true history of Christianity, I've come to have form more of an opinion about this. So let me start out by saying that this is my belief as to the real historical origins of Christianity, and it has nothing to do with what you've been told anywhere, except by very few brave, true historians, okay? Um, before Rome, there was no Christianity, <clears throat> of course. There was Judaism in that part of the world. Uh, meanwhile, there had been Hinduism and Buddhism and all indigenous faiths for thousands to if not tens of thousands of years before that in other parts of the world well that part of the world it was Judaism which had been around for quite a long time and I'm not much of a historian so I don't know the dates or anything at the moment off the top of my head but my understanding is what the Rome Romans did is they they took the Torah and they or Okay, what somebody did was they took the Torah and around the year zero, which is around when the Romans decided to do this, they, which is why it became year zero, I guess, later on. But anyway, um, they decided that their Jewish slaves were a little too, um, were a little too uppity, a little too warlike. They had a faith that their god is some was at I guess at the time was somewhat warlike, and they had this um, idea that there would be a messianic Jew who would come down, a wrathful god, and one of them was called um, well I guess the main god was Yeshua, but I guess they had other deities that lived in the sky, and there's a constellation that was called Jesus or something like that in Hebrew, which I can't recall the word for Jesus in Hebrew. But anyway, um, this God was very wrathful and would come down and kill people and, um, you know, keep the Jews and keep, keep the Jews in an elevated status in the world. And the Romans thought, well, you know, if the Jews actually get a warlike person around, that's going to lead them they'll think this is the Messiah and they'll revolt against us and try to free themselves. So what they did is they wrote this sort of messianic person, but what they, but there hadn't been any sort of a history of this messianic person having been written. So 
they created Jesus out of a, um, a famous Roman general and they took the I guess his name was something like Titus Flavius it's in the it's in a YouTube a very good YouTube video I don't know if it's by Christopher Hutchins or another one um, called um, the Flavian signature creating the Christ or something like that it's the author reads about his book and it's really good I'll try to make sure that's in the description of the video and um, so he found out that the Romans had wholesale copied the biography of this really um, wickedly effective and somewhat of a killer of a Roman general and they edited out the parts where he actually killed people made him seem kind of peaceful and then they made that the Jesus and they made him seem all kind of neutered and peaceful and and just like violent with words only and that would become the new messiah and um because it wouldn't be it would be peaceful they were basically prohibited from committing any real violence against the romans you know they would you know the bible is full oh they just you know they just went away across the sea you know and because there were no boats they just you know walked across they just created a a, a temporary land bridge out of nothing through moses well you and I both know that that this is not scientific. Um, it's not scientifically possible. That did not happen. Um, and then over the years, Rome disappeared, but the Holy Roman Church continued on and added on and created more things so that it could be further in power. Is it, Rome is its own country. Rome is a country inside of a country. Um, it has its own laws it you know and it gets away with a lot it's gerrymandered into a lot of political systems so to clarify I don't think Christianity alone is is evil I think any religion that associates itself with a political party or state anywhere is evil because the moment you mix religion with and or spirituality with po politics that's no longer religion. It's no longer seeking enlightenment. It's seeking power. And what the Luciferians have done over the years is they've subverted it because they've, because their, their whole job is to subvert falsehood. And the Christian church, churches, by believing in these myths wholesale and, uh, and colluding with power structures around the world to keep poor people and all kinds of people repressed is they've realized that that is an evil power system so um, the luciferians and and pretty much anyone who isn't christianity or maybe islam in a few middle eastern or some very big middle eastern populations um, a lot of the time they're not really associated non-abrahamic religions are less associated with the political power structures so you know buddhism has a has a, an official status in some countries but it doesn't it, it doesn't generally seek power it you know they tried to in japan in the 1200s and continuing on um to impose shintoism which is not buddhism um on the people because it would allow they they could create a certain divine power in the emperor so yeah so you know uh, i would just say use your own discernment you know um i know some really devout christians you know uh, some of you guys are really awesome people you really seek the highest spiritual teachings and ignore the fluff and the bad parts which is good you know i think you should do that if you have a religious faith and or some a lot of them avoid the churches altogether because you know you see how that's going with maga and trump and all that people just like to just jump right into bed with politics with their church and they're really wrong you know they're wrong-headed they believe in lies and they're going to destroy the world if they get in charge because they're fascists 